All right, guys, let's turn now to the big story, which is the big storm. And you know, we usually don't talk too much about the weather on this show, but when it's frankly all anyone else is talking about, we really can't ignore it. And we know you have some questions too, like this one from Ty. Ty wrote, what is the difference between the storm we just had off our coast and a hurricane? I never heard it being called a hurricane, but it seemed to have the right quality. So yeah, that, that swirling shape to non-scientists like us does look a lot like hurricanes that we see in the Atlantic. The other question I know a lot of you have is, what in the world is a bomb cyclone? And why has this been labeled as such? So again, not a scientist. This is a scientist. Chief Meteorologist Matt Zafino <laughs> graciously here to help us figure this out. So a couple of questions there. Let's start with what is a bomb cyclone? Right, and that's a great question. They're, they're both great questions that we get quite a bit. You know, yeah. when I look at that satellite imagery too, you know what I see? I see a big cinnamon roll. That's, Do you, yeah, like that's, so, that's so nice of you to say because it makes me feel smarter. One of, the, <laughs> yeah. one of the things I see, but it is a thing of beauty. Here's another look at it. And notice the number there at the center of this one, 942. We measure storms. We measure weather systems by their barometric or atmospheric pressure. And we measure that in millibars. We also use inches of mercury if you're a pilot or if you're used to doing things with aviation, you're used to that as well. 942 is a record for this part of the Pacific Ocean. We've had lower pressure out by the Aleutians with other big storms, other, other bomb cyclones that have developed. But this was really quite amazing for this neck of the woods. So kind of fun to see. Here's that swirl again that I call the cinnamon roll, but it's all wrapped up. And yes, there are similarities to a hurricane. We'll get into that in just a minute, but very, very impressive. The center of the storm right there. So what constitutes a bomb cyclone? Here's what it is. It, it refers to the explosive bomb, explosive development of the storm. In other words, how fast it intensifies. And as we say in meteorology, deepens because the pressure is getting lower, so it's getting deeper. That's the jargon that we use here. So it means explosive intensification of a storm. Check. We had that. And in fact, there's a quantification to this. It has to drop 24 millibars. That's just a simply a unit of measure of atmospheric pressure in 24 hours. This one dropped like 40 millibars in 24 hours, so certainly qualified. It was a very impressive storm, and that pressure, as I mentioned, a record for this part of the Pacific Ocean. Now, the comparison between hurricanes and bomb cyclones. Well, they're both storms. They can both do damage, but they're different. They're different at their core, literally. Hurricanes derive their strength from the warm tropical ocean waters in the Atlantic or in the Pacific or in the Indian Ocean or in the Southern Hemisphere where the water is warm. They need that. That's where they get their source of energy. That water they evaporates into the storm and releases heat as the cloud as the moisture condenses into cloud cover. That's how they gain their strength. They typically surprisingly to you maybe is that they have very weak winds aloft over the top of a hurricane. The winds are really quite light and they're typically fairly compact. There's no frontal system with it as well. The bomb cyclone on the other hand derives its energy from the jet stream. So very strong winds aloft and the temperature contrast as we usually talk about fronts, cold front and warm fronts, that temperature contrast and the dynamics of that very, very warm uh, or very, very strong winds aloft. So they're both storms. They can both produce hurricane force winds, even though these are not hurricanes and they can both do damage as well. Here's another way of looking at it. It's another comparison that I just kind of thought about. You know, what's the, how do you explain the, the, the difference between the bomb cyclone and the hurricane because they're both strong storms. As I mentioned, they they both have the ability to produce damaging strong winds. We had hurricane force wind gusts with our bomb cyclone over the weekend, right? But it's kind of like comparing a grizzly bear and a polar bear. <laughs> they're both bears. They can both eat you. They can both do amazing damage with their claws and otherwise, but they're different animals. Maggie. That's why you bring in the scientists. That is why you bring in the scientists. That was a perfect way to land that plane. I loved it. Well done. Thank you, Matt, so much.